hey you guys welcome back to the channel it is Vani G's here and today I have a really cool video for you guys this is some hand painted nail art um I've been on like this crazy nostalgia kick and I just had the urge to do so many like childhood memory type inspired nail art designs <laughs> Um, and today I'm doing The Big Comfy Couch, which was one of my favorite shows as a kid. Um, I loved watching The Big Comfy Couch. Um, I've actually been watching episodes of it and it still is just as interesting as it was when I was a kid. Um, I can see the appeal. But yeah, I wanted to bring you guys some hand painted stuff. I've been really into hand painted nail art. I feel like that's my thing when it comes to nails, at least for right now. Like that is my most favoritest, favoritest thing to do. At first it was like encapsulation. Like I love encapsulating glitter in my nails, but I am really getting into hand painted nail art and I'm trying to perfect that craft. Um, it's so fun. So I used my, to do this look, today I ended up using my fake hand um, that I got from a girl on Instagram she's a nail artist and she sells all types of great products I'll put her link down below um, I don't want to say her Instagram name wrong but she like has she has a small business she's a black nail tech and she's doing her thing so that's where I got my uh, hand from Cause I know that hands can be really expensive. Um, practice hands can be super expensive, especially if you want to get like red iguana type vibes, very expensive. Um, I'll also link some affordable hands that I've found, silicone hands that I've found um, through Instagram and there are some on Etsy. I'll link those below. I haven't bought them, but they're affor affordable and they look pretty good to me. So I'll put all of that down below. But, um, okay, let's get into what I did today. So I used my fake, um, my false hand, practice hand, whatever you want to call it. And I basically cured on some uh, stiletto nail tips and just used them as like full cover nails. Um, I tried to get that middle finger, I really tried to get that to glue on um straight to the silicone but you know nothing really sticks to silicone the other nail stuck because i previously did a set and i had um some nails uh like uh, glued with nail glue i had nail tips with nail glue glued onto them and then i yeah whatever <laughs> i had them glued on with nail glue and then i glued the tips on to the nails with <laughs> beige gel if that makes sense so it's like a two layer type of thing anyways so i was inspired by this picture i went on google and i looked up a bunch of pictures of the big comfy couch because i wanted to do something with that but i didn't know how i would do it. i didn't know what i would do at first i was going to do different characters on each nail um i found this really cool picture of like this backpack um i think it, it may have been made back in the 90s i don't know but I found this picture of this backpack and that's what pretty much inspired it. Um, I was gonna do like the little dust bunnies that are under her couch, I was gonna do those. Um, I was gonna do Molly on one nail and I was gonna do, um, what is her name? The clown, what is her actual name? Her name is like Linda, Lucille, something. I was gonna do her, but I ended up doing only her in the middle and doing like a mural style. I really wanted to try doing your style nails, but um, I'm not going to talk through the entire video because this is a really long video. Um, I will say that during the video, my light did go out, but I just kept filming because I really wanted to get this video out to you guys. Um, I just really want to stay consistent and stay committed to the goal that I've set for myself of getting back into making these videos and really making this channel something special. So, um, I tried to make an attempt to show you guys everything that I'm using, um, and I tried my best to stay in focus. Um, my camera automatically focuses, so sometimes it'll focus like on my thumb or 
different areas um, but I can say throughout the whole video you can see exactly what I'm doing some parts get a little blurry but they go back into focus um, so I feel like it's a really good quality video I worked really really hard to make sure this video came out in good quality and I really wanted to step up the quality of my videos I got a new camera um, and I rigged it all up so that I could get this really cool overhead shot for you guys um, yeah I just sit back relax and enjoy I'm trying to think is there anything else I want to tell you guys about what I did while doing this set um, I did it all freehand I didn't um, trace anything I did it all by freehand um, I mix I'm using acrylic paint um, I use all acrylic paints apple barrel acrylic paints um, that's what I use for all my hand painted nail art pretty much everything that I you do I use acrylic paints just because it's accessible it's affordable and um, I'm really just working on myself and on my fake hand and stuff and I feel like acrylic paints are a really good medium a really good um, tool to use when doing nails I don't think there's anything wrong with it there is a nail artist a really talented young lady um, her channel is Drippy Nails, and she kind of is where I got my intro to like using acrylic because I didn't have a whole bunch of gel, um, and I wanted to start doing hand painted nail art, and I'm like, dang, I don't have gel polishes, but I found one of her videos, and she used acrylic, and I had a ton of acrylic because I used to like to do like little paintings and crafts and different stuff so i had that i feel like i'm rambling but i just wanted to talk to you guys um everything is i don't want to say self-explanatory but you can kind of see how i made this set come to life um i ended up doing molly on the pinky um at the end um and i did comfy couch on um the pointer finger and the middle the, i mean the ring finger i did comfy on one nail and then couch on the other and i did the her clock that she stretches on i did that on the pinky at the top and put molly and you know got her wig right because you know molly always got her bob you know so i had to get her right and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if anything please like the video and subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be pushing out so much content especially now that we're on winter break i have time to make videos um so yeah i'm trying my best to get three videos out a week so let's see how that goes um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video um, I appreciate you so much for watching, but if you want to support me, make sure you um, like this video. Please like this video, comment on the video, or subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and be an active supporter by liking the videos and follow my Instagram. I have, you know, my main Instagram that'll be linked down below and my nail page Instagram. And I also have a main YouTube channel here where I do fashion and lifestyle content. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> I will talk to you guys on Friday. Peace out.